Yo, so guys, welcome back to another video. This is a reaction to eight most disturbing things caught on doorbell camera footage. It's been a few days. I was away, not away, but like I was not doing videos for like five days. Around the time it was my birthday and then just around that time I wasn't doing videos. I wasn't really planning on not doing them beforehand, but it just sort of ended up happening. But we're back and yeah, camera footage from the doorbell. These ones are always wild. <laughs> yeah, I mean, from what I've done previously, they're always pretty crazy, but... This is this is one of those reasons why I don't know how I'd feel when I first get my own house because I live in a part I, I live in an apartment and it's kind of safer because you got door you got a big, big main door and how mine works you got a big main door and then I'm not at the first floor so there's other doors that they'll go to first so yeah you got that bit of protection but I'm sure nothing will actually happen but seeing this sort of footage does make you consider like damn well this is the only door stopping this person from getting into me and you got windows obviously my windows are a lot higher up so they can't really get to them so yeah stuff like that but we're gonna check this out and i guess yes yeah, see some of these these bits of footage oh my god that flipping creeped me out so much fuck me man this footage was captured in flint michigan on april 24th 2023 flint. The house had two ring cameras, one above the garage, and the other was a ring doorbell camera. Around 10 p.m., a man in a red jacket and another person just behind him are shown walking up to the house's front door. Before knocking or ringing the doorbell, the man in the jacket immediately starts trying to break down the door. Jeez. camera what? falls to the ground from the impacts, but the door itself doesn't budge. After those few seconds, the man walks around to the house's side door and again immediately starts trying to break it down. By this point, the homeowner had woken up in a panic and was checking their camera's feed for an explanation. They noticed their doorbell camera on the ground, and so they switched over to their other camera. As the banging noise rang out throughout the house, they could now see what was causing it. Mm. Bro, I would be shitting myself. Hello. That's what it took for him to go. Just saying, get out. What? Did they? Did they think maybe no one was there or something? Even though there was a car in the driveway. <clears throat> the homeowner's voice coming over the speaker was enough to scare the two men off. Damn. Police were called out to the property. When they reviewed the footage, they noted that one of the men was armed. Oh. What these two men planned to do with the people inside if they had successfully broken in is unknown. It's unclear if they were ever identified by police. Fuck. That is horrible, man. This clip was captured at 3 in the morning on April 9th, 2023. It happened in Albuquerque, New Mexico. The homeowner was sleeping when the clip was recorded. It wasn't until he woke up and saw a notification on his phone that he found out about it. He reviewed the footage, horrified. This is what he saw. Bro, a woman is shown trying this? multiple different keys to get into the house and even looking around for a hidden one. Bro, that looks like a gun. Horrified. Oh, it's a gun. This is what he saw. Room. A woman is shown trying multiple different keys to get into the house and even looking around for a hidden one. What the fuck? What is going on there? homeowner claimed that he had never seen this woman before. He said that she later started throwing rocks at his car and trying those locks. It's likely she was under the influence of something. Yep, that's for Multiple sure. times she tries to insert keys into the doorbell camera itself. <laughs> After a few minutes she walks off and was never seen <laughs> on the property again. Her intentions are unknown. 
She just seems pissed Walter off. Walter Hickox is a homeowner in Daytona Beach, Florida. His home is set out in a wooded section of the city. Oh. In January. Living in the wooded section of a city, and yeah, that's just a recipe for disaster. Especially if something happens, you're so far from any. I mean, maybe you're not far. It just it feels scary because it's in the woods, but maybe it's not actually. It's probably just as close to any other police station as any other part of the city. But January of 2022, Walter was taking his three dogs out onto the porch when he noticed one of them intently looking at something outside. The dogs suddenly start running to the left side. Oh of the my camera, god! And that's when Walter realizes they were looking at a black bear. The bear Does he just go and wrestle it as well? Climbs over a protective railing as it goes for the dogs. With Jeez. barely any time to process what he was seeing, Walter lunges at the bear as it goes for his dogs. He manages to push it back before he shoves a nearby chair in the doorway, preventing it from attacking again. He Fair enough, out that man. he was attacked by a bear as he brings his dogs back inside. What, a, what an absolute warrior that guy is. Flipping hell. When I had time to just sit and just stare, it all hit me and I started bawling. <laughs> I couldn't believe how close to death I was and I did it for my dog. Yeah. Walter received minor injuries from the bear. His dogs didn't receive any injuries. Jeez. This homeowner in Texas got a knock at their door for a DoorDash delivery around 1.20 in the morning. Only the homeowner had an order DoorDash. Bro, this kind of thing happened to me maybe a year, probably over a year and a half ago now. It's like four in the morning. We get a random call on our, because we still have a sort of, like how our apartment works. You've got like a little screen where you can see when they call. And I was like, right, I've not ordered anything. And I'd just woken up four o'clock in the morning and I was so confused. And then I got um, an email from my, what's it called? My landlord saying about how there was someone calling all the apartments and how no one in the apartments ordered anything. So it seemed like a weird situation where he was worried about it too, but. Yeah, nothing happened because I wasn't stupid enough to open the door, but it shat me up, I'm not going to lie. She was sleeping. It was only her and her nephew in the home at the time. She remembers waking up to a metal clinking sound, but didn't think much of it until she noticed damage to the outside of her house the next morning. <coughs> this caused her to look back at her cameras, both the footage from her doorbell camera and the one she had set up in her backyard. This is what she saw. Oh, oh my God. What? The first video isn't as concerning. A woman standing at the door claiming to be with a DoorDash from 1.20 a.m. to 2 a.m. This could be written off as a determined delivery driver that unknowingly had the wrong address. But it was the backyard footage that was genuinely concerning. At 2 a.m., four men got into the backyard and tried to gain entry into the home through a window. It's likely they planned on entering through the front door by ambushing the person that opened it for the DoorDash delivery. But when no one answered, they resorted to trying the backyard while the oh fake DoorDash God. deliverer stayed out front as a distraction. However, fortunately the men would be unsuccessful and are shown running away from the house on the backyard camera. The four men and the woman at the front door were all seen leaving the area together in a dark colored sedan. They were never caught by police. Fuck, that is wild. So, and like home invasions, man, they will go wrong so many times. So imagine they got in and then what happens next? They've been held hostage or what? Oh, flipping hell, man. In June of 2019, multiple homes in Chicago got a visit from a man claiming to be an investigator known as Jeff Rushmore. The only problem is that man doesn't exist. He was impersonating an investigator with the local police department, fully equipped with a fake uniform, a fake badge, and fake police radio chatter. It's gone all out, really. This ring camera caught him performing the act. Can you 
open the door? The homeowner doesn't answer the door, yet the man stays in character, even faking a call back reporting the unresponsive homeowner. Bro, he'd really gone all out for this. That's so weird. The way he's like, he was looking through the window saying, can you open the door? Like, you know he's got some sinister intentions, but what the fuck, man? Another home in the area equipped with a ring doorbell camera shows the same man. This time, the homeowner does open the door. Bro. The video cuts out there. The man explains a missing person case, and when the homeowner says he doesn't know anything about it, the interaction ends. The motives behind him impersonating an investigator are unknown. Often there are cases like this where the man is simply trying to get people to open their door thinking they're safe, but proceed to rob them, or sometimes worse. However, he doesn't do this. No one knows his motives. One commenter said, I honestly believe he was testing the waters, and as he felt more confident, he would have escalated from getting people to open their door to entering into people's homes to only God knows what next. According to recent documents, the man was never identified. What the flip? This video how, was how were they not identified? There was no like thing blocking what they looked like or anything. Captured in Kansas City. The doorbell oh. footage shows a man appearing on the left side of the screen and climbing on the guardrail. He was trying to stay out of frame as he attempted to take the ring camera off of the home. Inside the home was a woman and her son. The man was the woman's ex-boyfriend. Oh, he failed to remove the camera, so he left, but returned 30 minutes later. This time, he had a cloth to cover the camera. He doesn't know that he's literally seen here. One idiot, this guy. I mean, they know who he is, which is, I guess, a positive that they found out. Three minutes later, the homeowner's son ran into her room, frantic, telling her their car was on fire. Police what? and firefighters were called to the scene, but not before the fire destroyed their car and most of their home. What? Marianne, an expert in abusive relationships, responded with, Abusive relationships are about power and control, and when that power and control is taken away or it's minimized, then what we see is those efforts are escalated to try and get them back. What? Police are currently what looking the for the homeowner's ex-boyfriend seen in the video. I mean, at least I knew who it was, right? Flipping hell. This happened in April of 2023 in a wooded section of Asheville, North Carolina. The homeowner of this house got a notification Best saying man. motion was detected in her front door. She opened the app on her phone and saw three bears Free. Oh my on the front porch. They were tearing open a package that had recently been delivered. Inside the package was dog food, which they easily would have been able to smell. The homeowner opened her door and confronted the animals, trying to scare them off. She's literally standing out. What the fuck? Bro, there's three bears there. 
Some dog food. Bears take one of the two bags of dog food. I mean, I respect it, but come on, man. It's not worth it for some dog food. Food inside the package. They got it, though, to be fair. They're seen on the right side of the screen with the bag in their mouth as they walk off. This footage was captured at night just before 2 a.m. Oh, my God. It shows a man ringing the doorbell to this home in Rochester, New York. Immediately after, he hides behind a parked car. He's seen crouched down, holding some kind of club in his hand, breathing heavily and sweating profusely. He nervously looks back and forth from out of the street to back at the house's front door. What the fuck? Is he hiding from someone or is he just waiting to, for them to open the door? So we can attack or something. I guess it's that one, but what the hell? Then he's looking for someone there. Is he just Mendel? Maybe. But he's looking for something. The man clearly looks to be on something. When he realizes no one was going to answer the door, he walks away. Another minute passes when a voice yells out that the police are on their way. It's unclear whose voice this is. There are two main possibilities here. Either this man was hiding from someone for one reason or another and he was trying to get inside a house so that he wouldn't be found, the voice being the person he was hiding from, or he was trying to bait the homeowner into opening the door where he then planned to do who knows what, the voice here being a concerned neighbor that saw what he was doing. Either way, the man most likely did not have the best intentions. Was he found? Damn, man, I always want to know if they were found or not, but I guess it's harder to know that, know that but... <laughs> I'd rather have a bear at my front door than criminals having the worst intentions for myself and my family. Yeah, to be fair. How the hell was that guy impersonating an investigator never caught? That's what I'm saying, he's literally there, it's obvious who he is. Honestly, the bears are less scary than the psycho humans. Dude wasn't attacked by a bear, dude attacked a bear. Are people shitting on him for that? I mean, it's a bear, bro. A bear could literally grab your head and bite you and you're done. So it, it is still... I mean, I don't see anyone doing that to a bear. I don't know why the comments are acting in a certain way. Um, But yeah, there we go. Some disturbing bits of footage caught on camera or doorbell. But um, yeah, if you want to see more of this, let me know in the comments. And yeah, let me know some of your wildest experiences with your doorbell. Or with your door, maybe people trying to break in or just weird things happening in front of your door. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed and until next time, like subscribe. Peace.